In this video, I'm going to cover how to run a script to export a CSV file from an Active Directory to a shared folder. Once we have this file, I will show how to import this into Protege GX using ICT's data sync service. Before we begin, there are a couple of prerequisites we will require. Firstly, an operational Protege GX system running software version 4.2.214 or later, an installation of the ICT data sync service version 2.0, a current data sync license, and that license applied to the relevant Protege GX serial number, a SOAP interface license, Protege GX SOAP integration service version 1.5.0.19 or higher, a Protege GX client available uh, for use by the service at all times. In addition to this, we'll also require a LDAP browser, which will allow us to browse through the domain network to retrieve the current Active Directory file. Once you have installed all the relevant software and installed the correct licensing to get the software up and running, what we will require now is a script that will allow us to pull the Active Directory file from a location. The best way to do this is to contact ICT support and they will happily share with you the current script I am about to use. Once you have correctly located the security group that you wish to import out of Active Directory, what you need to do is save this file and then open the location again. Right click the particular file and run this file with PowerShell. This may take uh, a few seconds, it may take a few minutes depending on the file size itself. Once PowerShell has completed and saved the file to the directory that you physically located, what we now want to do is uh, go and locate that physical directory. So mine was under my local disk. We are talking my GX data sync AD demo. So inside here we can have a quick look at the CSV file just to see what the physical design of that file is that has been exported. As you can see, we have a unique ID, first name, last name, full name, access levels, user end time, and whether or not the user has been disabled. The most common files here that come out of Active Directory are obviously just the naming fields, the unique identifier, and whether or not the user is disabled within Active Directory itself. So these are the common files that we're going to utilize and import via DataSync into our Protege GX database. From this point, what we need to do is open our DataSync service. Once open, as you can see, it is pointing to my target system of Protege GX. It is on my local host on my actual local PC, so local host address is perfectly fine. Previously, I created an operator within Protege GX and gave it a specific password. Now, this is purely so I can track all operator events to do with the data sync importation tool. The site we're going to import to is the site Era One University, which is the current database on my demonstration GX system. We're going to import the user database. Now all we need to do with the little red highlighted information piece is to locate where that file is. So my file is located in my C drive under GX Data Sync AD Demo. Within here we also then want to import the specific file that is available to us and that is our AD Demo users. As you can see the system straight away is showing us that it's going to start on import row of line one which is our unique id first name last name full name access level user end time and our disabled user obviously we want to start on row two which is then going to give us our accurate data of the unique identifier the user's first name surname the display name and whether or not they are currently disabled within protege gx or to be more precise within Active Directory. Now all we need to do is actually map all of these fields. 
So the target field for our unique ID, we can actually just utilize the custom field number one and use that as the selection field. And as you can see, it automatically ticks the box being a custom field and a unique identifier. This is the first name, so we can just type in first upon clicking that box and there is our first name identifier. Our last name. And then our display name, which in Protege GX is just called name. The last one here is whether or not the user has actually been disabled. So what you will find within the system is we can now actually import whether or not the user is a disabled user. That means they have been disabled within Active Directory, so either no longer employed or they are currently on leave. Now, in saying this, basically everything that comes out of Active Directory in regards to whether or not something is true or false, you'll find that it always exports it in a capital frame. What we need to do in the advanced section is actually tell it that anything to do with the old value of true is actually going to have a new value of a lowercase. So everything you have there is whether it is true. Now obviously some records also might have the value of false. So what we need to also add in is something that has capital false right through to a lowercase false. And that will then basically allow you to import directly into Protege GX with the correct naming fields. Once we have done that, we can actually select the save key and we can then also select the start to start the physical import of that particular file. Now whilst it is being started, you will notice that up the top we can resynchronize essentially every one minute. With data sync, you may want to extend that out to two, three, four, five, but you can also do it by minutes or hours. So if you only wanted to do this once every 24 hours, you're more than welcome to. Now we can actually navigate through to Protege GX and double check that the import has physically worked. So upon logging in and navigating to your users users and this will then allow us to see if the import has physically worked. There we go. Everybody from our Active Directory has now been imported into Protege GX.